guys, glad you found me. We are going to do an unboxing, and it is a Diamond Art Club. I want to talk about Diamond Art Club for a minute. I love Diamond Art Club. I love everything about their company. I love their quality. I love their customer service. I love how generous they can be at times with the diamond painting community. I love the sales they have. Love the sparkle of the diamonds, the quality of the diamonds, the canvases. I love how glittery the canvases themselves are. I mean, I just really, really love everything about this company. I'm a huge Diamond Art Club supporter. However, sometimes when I go on to their site, I have a little bit of trouble finding images that um, I'm interested in purchasing, not because they aren't beautiful. I love looking at them. I would probably even love working on them, but the really bright colors, some of the darker colors, some of the subject matter doesn't always go with my aesthetics and my need to work on calm earth tones and I'm kind of a hippy dippy chick so yeah so I'm there's a few pieces in Diamond Art Club I have done I think three Diamond Art Clubs and I've loved every one of them they've been great experiences but when Diamond Art Club came out with their new canvases, their new releases that they came out with on April 15th, from some of the sneak peeks and stuff that they had shown, I knew that there was one that I was really interested in. But the truth of the matter is the only reason I didn't pull that trigger and buy it on the 15th was because it was a round diamond painting. Now I have to be completely honest, you guys. I don't feel like I'm as good at doing round diamond paintings as I am doing squares. I feel like the squares kind of fit together and help me line them up, whereas the round drills, I get a little off kilter sometimes. I've even tried the diamond painting rulers and that gets off kilter even worse. So I usually don't buy round diamond paintings, so I kind of held off on this one. But this was a piece that I wanted so badly. I'd been looking for a piece to do for my grandsons, and I wanted this one so badly that on Easter, when they had their 20% um, off sale, I decided what the heck. And I purchased it, and I'm so excited. So let's go ahead and break into this thing and see what we got. Oh, that was my address. Yeah. You know me. I don't know that I care. Given what I do for a living and that I live in basically a public place, if you wanted to find me, you could. And that's the truth. But, just ask Shanda Panda. She found me, but she found me on, on Face, on, actually on YouTube. But, um, I, we also have very good security, so... So that's how that goes. Okay, so have my shipping information and the paper. And then inside this brown cardboard box, we have the pretty box. Look at that. Look at that. Do you see what it is? Do you see what it is? I got, uh, oh, that's really glaring. I got the Cloud Runner. I hope that glares. Oh, no, that's just from the box. I got the Cloud Runner. The uh, box is so well protected with this plastic and the, the glittery iridescence that it's glaring into that camera. So let's just open it up. It's probably a much better way of work, looking at it anyway. So I am super excited to do this piece. Um, like I said, I've looked for a long time. I've done pieces for my granddaughters. I've purchased one for my granddaughter that lives in Alabama <clears throat> that I'm going to start working on. Um, but for my four grandsons, I just couldn't find something I liked, particularly for the grandsons that live here, because a 13-year-old and a 2-year-old share a bedroom. So 
you know, I had to get something that was not too little kitty, something that the 13-year-old would enjoy, and something that the 2-year-old could grow into. Oh my gosh! <gasps> I can't even right now! Oh, and look it! There's my little, little strip of paper that I could turn into labels if I wanted to. But I probably won't, because you know me, I do everything the lazy way. But that's awesome. I may laminate that. I usually laminate pieces and um, use them as little guides when I'm working on my canvas. This is so pretty. Oh my God, I just love the colors on this one. Oh, let's see. This one is 65 by 52, which is much larger than anything I usually do. But, oh my gosh, you guys, just look at that. Oh, I mean, like I was saying, the sparkle on that canvas just itself and the colors. Oh, this is just incredible. Mm, I just, I can't even. I want this to just, oh. I am just, I am just really, oops, my light pad came on. My light pad's under there. Hang on. There we go. I just, I can't, I don't even know what to say. The colors on this are so beautiful. This is going to be a wonderful piece. I think it's going to be, just like I said, something that the 13-year-old can enjoy and something that the 2-year-old can grow into. And quite honestly, I think I'm going to purchase another one and I'm going to do the same same painting for my twin grandsons that live in Alabama. They just turned four yesterday. And again, I mean, this is a, pay, a piece that they can grow up with. Oh, God, this is just, it's so beautiful. I don't even, I, I knew it was going to be awesome, but I didn't expect it to be this, this good. I got to get rid of this light pad. Let's stick that down there. There we go. Okay. All right, you guys have to excuse my hands. I've been very busy crafting and organizing today and just doing all kinds of things. I don't even feel like I need to look at the glue because we all know that the glue is going to be super good quality. But let's take a peek at some of these diamonds. I know that people have probably unboxed this before, but, you know, I was just excited and I wanted to my own unboxing. So here we go. Oh yeah, those are round. Oh my gosh, you guys, I hope I can do this justice. It always cracks me up when people say that the uh, rounds are so much easier and they just, I don't know, they cause me so much stress. Oh, those colors are just I mean, they're just absolutely amazing. Those purples and blues. Oh, I am just loving those. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at those. Oops, let's turn these up. Look at those beautiful blues. Oh. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, and look at the dark colors. Just so so pretty. And that key, the key is super clear. Oh, this is just going to be so much fun to work on. I'm just going to love this one. Oh, super pretty. So again, let me try and show you that thumbnail. I'll put my diamonds right over here. Sorry, lots of crinkle on you guys. Let me see if I can get you a good look at that thumbnail. Just in case you haven't seen that one. I don't know. It's glaring pretty bad. But, oh, I am just absolutely amazed at this painting. This is going to be gorgeous. I usually don't like working on ones that are quite this big, as you know. And I wasn't planning on starting this one anytime soon. I've got a couple of pieces that I'm going to have to get done. But, oh, I'm just so excited to start this one. 
I've got one piece that I'm doing for a friend in May and I have to have it done by May 25th so I may do that first and then I may I may start this one because it's just too beautiful and those diamonds oh my gosh oh I didn't see Huh. Oh, there's my tool kit. Yep. Oh, and let's see. Oh, yep, it has the key on both sides. That's going to be so handy, especially working in this small area, like I was saying, that I have to work in. Probably what I'll do is go ahead and laminate that strip piece, like I said, and then I'll have three charts. I can always have one to the side. Um, one, uh, and, and one on each side of me, so that's going to make it really easy. The kit comes with two hearts, two plates of wax. We've got a little three-placer, a blue pen. I don't know, does Diamond Art Club always come with blue pens? I can't remember. We've got some baggies and a blue grippy and their awesome little tray, so... Yeah, this is just an amazing piece. Again, it's Cloud Runner. It's 65 by 52. Absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to start working on this one. So that's it, you guys. I know with a with a DAC, I don't need to worry about doing inventory. I know that all the beautiful diamonds are going to be here if by chance for some reason. Oh, I just even love that dark blue. That is just 823, just gorgeous. 939, let's see. Now we have a few 310s. A few, where are the 310s? Yeah, that's two packages, two large packages, so that won't be so bad. I kind of like doing 310s. I don't know, maybe I'm weird. Anyway, you guys, that's my DAC Cloud Runner unboxing. Thanks so much for watching. Um, if you feel so inclined, give the video a thumbs up. Um, be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already so that you can hang out and see me unbox more fun stuff. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!